The following is a live sports presentation of Glycod. G L I C O D dot com. Glycod's coverage of IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School basketball starts now. Lexington. Welcome to another broadcast of Central Kentucky High School Basketball on Glyca. Tonight it's the visiting Bryan Station Defenders against the homestanding Paul Lawrence Dunbar Bulldogs. I'm Keith Elkins along with Rick Reams tonight. Paul, our uh, producer is Chris Labar this evening and we welcome you to our broadcast of this rematch between two teams who got together, Rick, back in early December. That was a big defenders win. So a lot of time has passed since then and Dunbar looking for a much more competitive outing tonight. Yeah, early on in the season, you really don't know what you have, and right now this Dunbar team is kind of having a rough year right now, although you look at them and Bryan Station. Bryan Station on a two-game losing streak. I mean, Bryan Station was just rolling through their schedule earlier on in the year all the way up until after Christmas, and we're going to hear Coach Ligon talk about the fact they're in a little slump right now. So has Dunbar caught them at a good time? Well, we'll see if they have. Bryan Station, when they are rolling, they look awfully strong, don't they? I tell you what, they've got all the answers out there. They can score from any position. They can put pressure all over the court on you. They can also are really good rebounders. And I tell you what, the athleticism on this uh, Bryan Station team is, is a sight to see. And uh, when you talk about athleticism, uh, of course, Amari Owens comes to mind immediately. He'll handle the ball a lot for Brian Station tonight. And uh, John Morgerson mentioned in his pregame comments, we'll hear those in, it, in their entirety in just a few minutes, but uh, keeping him from going to his left, where he's especially strong, is going to be a key part of their defense tonight. You know, a lot of times you, you talk to your kids about that, and a lot of times, as you just kind of alluded to, it's easier said than done to try to force someone to the right side. But what you got to try to do when you play against a very, very, uh, gifted and athletic team, you again, you have to take them out of their game. And I think that's what Coach Morgers is talking about and, and with this team. But you talked about it, you know, Amari Owens averaging 23 points and almost five rebounds a game and just been the real deal out there. And I'll tell you what, he's, uh, Keith, he's one of the fastest kids I've seen from one end of the court to the other. And I'm not just talking about running up and down, I'm talking about with the ball. He puts a lot of pressure on defense. You have to get back or he will score, score early and often. Coach's comments coming up and more as our pregame report continues on Glycod. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now, through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. This is your season to save on our incredible selection of new Kias from Cartown Kia. You can't beat the powerful design of the new 2024 Sportage. It's your choice. The new 2023 Kia Sportage, just $349 down and $349 per month, or the new 2023 Kia Sorento, just $349 down and $349 per month. Unmatched design, performance, and savings all in one at Cartown Kia and CartownKiaUSA.com. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. 
Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 bypass. For a free estimate, call 859 887 2440. Elite Building Products. Let's get real. For a lot of people, four years of college might as well be a million. With us, you can get a certificate in a matter of months and start a career right away. College for the real world. College for your world. This edition of Coach's Comments is brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Get started by finding the program that works for you at bluegrass.kctcs. Dot edu bluegrass community and technical college never underestimate you we're here with coach john morgerson of dunbar and coach you've seen this brian station team before it's been a while now but uh, they won decisively the other time but how do you see your development of your team over this past two and a half months since that game yeah, it'll be fun to kind of see how we play tonight. That was their first game of the season. Uh, I know our guys have gotten better, but I'm, I'm sure they've gotten better too. Uh, but it's just cool to see your progression of how you compete against a team the second time. Uh, they were really fired up that first night at home on a Friday night, uh, and they had a ton of energy. So we, we know tonight is about energy. we got to come out and play as hard as we can. You know, we've been playing better lately, but we're coming off two tough losses against Lexington Catholic and Woodford County. Uh, another really good team coming in tonight. So. You know, it's just going to help us get ready for the postseason playing against teams like this that are really talented. we got to find a way to guard and uh, find a way to get the shots that we want. You mentioned having energy, and of course it's also important to have composure against a yeah. team like Bryan Station because they really come at you with the pressure, don't they? Yeah, our press break will be really important in that first quarter. Uh, we did a pretty good job against Catholic in it. Uh, second quarter kind of got away from us there, but we got to get off to a good start. The last time against Bryan Station, we won the first quarter. I think it was 21-20 or 24-23, something like that. Uh, we need to start like that, maybe get a few more stops, and then handle the ball well in the second quarter. Uh, just make it a game at halftime, and then we'll compete for the last 16 minutes. And we talked about their pressure defensively. What what do you need to do defensively to slow them down a little bit? Yeah, we got to keep Amari from going to his left. He's so good. He's had a great season. Uh, he's kind of their engine that gets everything going for him. So if we can take him away from getting to his left hand, make him go to his right and make some other guys beat us, uh, and then we got to get the defense a rebound because when they do miss, they do a good job of rebounding. They killed us on the boards last time. Uh, so we got to get a miss and then go get the rebound to be able to, to get stops. I know you can't worry too much about what other teams do against their opponents, but they have lost a couple in a row. That at least sends a message to your team that maybe this is the time we can get them. Yeah, I watched them play Eastern, and it was 56-45, I believe. Eastern's a really good team that we played against in December. Uh, we want to try to do some similar things that they did. They have some really good personnel that allowed them to do that. But they were really physical at Bryan Station. They didn't let them get out and run. They took care of the ball on offense, and that will be important to us too. If we take care of it on the offensive end to not let them get in transition, we at least got to be able to set our defense. All right. Well, thanks a lot, and good luck tonight. All right. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. We'll be right back on Glycott. Let's get real. You could go to work right after high school, but spend a little time with us and we'll give you a better chance to do more, be more, and earn more. College for the real world. College for your world. Paramedics do the incredible. They help save lives. And so can you by donating at CSL Plasma. Your plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines. And you can be rewarded for your generosity. Every plasma donation can do so much for so many. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate plasma today at your local CSL Plasma Center. Tradition means values. And we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. 
with health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s, and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock, so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter, and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Welcome back to Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Game time approaching between the Dunbar Bulldogs and the Bryan Station Defenders. So let's take a look at the keys to the game tonight. Tonight's keys to the game are presented by Martin's Peterbilt of Central Kentucky. They strive to keep your trucks moving through outstanding parts availability and unmatched service, all while glorifying Jesus Christ and building relationships. Rick, what about the keys to tonight's ball game? Well, I think we talk, heard Coach Morgerson talk a little bit about it, and it's kind of kind of what I came up with at Dunbar. They've got to handle the pressure that Station puts on them. Station wants to come out and put pressure all over the court for the entire game, and if you're Dunbar, you have to handle that. You have to have a plan to get through that. The second thing is you've got to keep Brian Station off the boards. You've got to limit their second-chance opportunities because I tell you what, Brian Station can really kill you on the boards. We've called some of their games, Keith. It's not just second. It's third and fourth-chance opportunities. You've got to get the ball off the board and get down the court. If you're Station, you got to dictate tempo. You want this game to be played fast and quick. You want to score a lot of points, and you want to make sure that the Bulldogs have to play that and they're not comfortable with that the second team is you have to get off to a fast start if you're brian station you know coach ligan's going to talk about this but you know there's always a little something in your head after you lose two straight games that your confidence is down a little bit if you can get off to a quick start tonight kind of put this game away often or early excuse me and then just go ahead and put it in cruise control from there but i love what coach morgerson talked about in the first game he said we won the first quarter if you're brian station you don't want the first quarter to be even close you want this game over with because if it doesn't happen then doubt starts sinking in and one thing that we uh, had not mentioned earlier was that the depth of Bryan Station certainly helps them play that fast tempo. Uh, Champ Ligon can come at you with a lot of players. And, and that's the thing. Coach Ligon talks about that in the interview also, the fact that Dunbar's a little bit lower on players. Uh, and so he wants to do that. He wants to put the pressure on them. He wants to try to get them into foul trouble. And then, like you said, if someone on Bryan Station's having enough, uh, an off night, next man up because they've got a bunch on the bench that can come in and play. Those are the keys to tonight's ball game. Paul Lawrence Dunbar and Brian Station about to have their second matchup of the season coming up here at Dunbar. This broadcast is authorized by Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School with production rights owned by Glycod Media. Our aim is to provide the most positive representation for all participating student athletes, coaches, and game personnel. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back. More of our pregame show in just a moment. Coach Champ Ligon coming up right after this on Glycod. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo, plus free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at lexoutdoorpower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. Drive with the confidence and security of a pre-owned Kia from Cartown Kia. 
This incredible certification package is loaded with a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 10 years of national roadside assistance, and two years of free maintenance. Choose from over 70 certified pre-owned Kias or over 1,000 vehicles of all makes and models. It's new car driving at used cars prices with certified pre-owned Kias from CarTownKiaUSA.com. I love head Children love Head Start, and you will too. Community Action Council's Prep Academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Patrons, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych. And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. With Fast Signs, see the visual possibility in your business. See it in lights and flags, on a van, in metal, on the floor, in color. With signs and graphics, you can say anything, do anything, be anything. So make your statement. With your masterful team of visual marketing experts, anything is possible. Fast Signs, make your statement. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. This is Rick Ream from Dunbar High School here with Bryan Station coach Champ Ligon. And coach, we're getting later in the year. Tell me a little bit about where you think your team is right now. Well, we've been struggling a little bit. I think some of it's fatigue, mental and physical, and then Sometimes you just have slumps. We haven't been shooting the ball really well uh, very, or very well lately. And uh, I'm expecting us to come out of that because we've got a lot of good shooters. we got a good inside outside game. We have, you know, we have uh, several really good players. I mean, you know, Amari and Tayshawn are two of the best in the region and in the state and a pretty good supporting cast around them. So it's just, it's just kind of ebb and flow of the season. Uh, but it's getting close. We need to like snap out of this little funk we're in soon because there's not a lot of time, uh, not to- a lot of time left. Is this something you talk to your team about? Do you let them work through it? Some coaches don't want to bring it up. What's your feeling on a team that's in the slump? No, we talk about it. We bring it. We bring it up. We, uh, in fact, we had a good coming off that loss to Eastern, which, by the way. Eastern's a really good team, and they forced us into a half-court game, and that was their game. We couldn't get them sped up. So a lot of the credit the other night goes to Eastern. Uh, The loss before that against Henry Clay, we had a 12-point lead. We just got in a situation where we kept fouling and let them back in the game, but also let them get their second win. So, shoot, I think in the Henry Clay game, we were more fatigued at the end than they were, which – that's kind of abnormal for the for the way we do things. Uh, but you talk about it. The guys came out yesterday, had a great attitude, worked hard, and I told them you don't you know you don't you don't get to the top overnight. And then when you slip a little bit and get a slump, you don't get out of it overnight. You just gotta you just gotta go back and trust the process and grind it out. And I think uh, uh, I think we'll be able to come out of it. So tonight you play a Dunbar team. Looking back, you won, beat them 97 to 59 on December the 1st. Tell me a little bit about this Dunbar team. What do you expect from them? Well, first of all, they're going to 
they've got a nice nucleus. They just don't have a lot of size, but their 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 bench is a little thin. And I think the issue they have in a lot of games is they wear down. Uh, and so, man, I expect them to come out and play well. It's probably, you know, hopefully by the time by the second half we can kind of wear them down. Maybe, you know, get a couple runs in and stretch it out again. But I, I expect a tough game, man. They're, they're well coached. They 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 play hard. They 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 run their stuff. They shoot it well. So it's not going to be just snap your fingers and things are all all nice. We're going to have to work at it. So give me just a couple of keys that you see tonight for your team to walk out of here with a victory. Uh, we got to make the extra pass. One of the things that's causing us trouble while, while we haven't been shooting it very well lately is we're taking a lot of contested rough shots where if we just make one more pass, we, we get a wide open look. So we, we've got to do that. If we make one more pass, we're going to be good. We got to. We got to play inside out because we have a real advantage on the inside. And that's just not with the bigs getting it, but that's like our guards driving into the lane too. I think we uh, have a real advantage. We just got to we got to take advantage, take advantage of it. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time tonight. Good luck. Always excited to see your oh, team play. You. We'll appreciate go from there. Thanks again. Yeah. We'll be right back on Glycod. Getting plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. College for your world. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. At Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School, let's take a look at the starting lineups now. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. Rick, what about the defenders? For Brian Station, what we've seen all year is they start off with Amari Owens is averaging 23 points a game and five rebounds. Felix De Los Santos is their big man, uh, averaging seven points and six rebounds. Davion Adams averages 10 points and four rebounds. Bryson Carpenter, a senior, another senior, is going to be starting. And then Tayshawn Adams uh, averages 11 points, six rebounds. But as we talked about, there's a lot of players they can go to on the bench. And one they go to early in offense is Matthew Golinski. So don't be surprised to see him early. Yeah, we'll see a lot of players off that defender bench tonight if things are going as they usually go for the team in green tonight. For the homestanding Dunbar Bulldogs, it'll be uh, Jaden Sweat. He wears number 11, averages 11 points a game. Madison, or Mason 
Van Dyke, wearing number zero, 11 points, three rebounds a game. We'll get a start, a 5'8 senior. Clayton Hilt, a 5'11 junior, wears number one, averages just under 11 points a ball game for the Bulldogs. Number 20, Tyler McCord, 5'11 senior, nine points, two rebounds a game. And uh, Chase Hill, wearing number two, will start for the Bulldogs, 5'10 senior, eight points and two and a half rebounds per game. And again, it'll be that depth of Bryant Station, as we'll see. And then uh, Dunbar trying to contain that transition game and withstand that pressure, Rick. Yeah, I tell you what, it's going to be a kind of a clash of styles here, which team can insert their will against the other team. The first time these two teams played, we talked about Bryant Station won 97 to 59 on December the 1st. Of course, that score will tell you Bryant Station did what they wanted to do, got the game going fast up and downhill. First game of the year for Bryant Station, came out just on fire. Interested to see if they can do that tonight. And then what I'm interested in seeing is does Dunbar have any answer at all? Can they put up a fight? Can they come up with something to slow this team down and go from there? Well, we mentioned Amari Owens as uh, one of the big parts of that Bryan Station offense, and he is uh, going to be out there tonight. Davion Adams, Felix Gonzalez, also some mainstays for Bryan Station. We'll be back with the start of the ball game in just a moment on Glycon. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. From Glycon, it's IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. IBEW 369, power up your potential. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Never underestimate you. CSL Plasma, do the amazing, help save lives. Meyer, higher standards, lower prices. Traditional Bank, because who you bank with matters. And by Community Action of Lexington, Martin's Peterbilt, Lexington Outdoor and Power Equipment, and Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen. Now courtside for all the action from Glycon on IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. Back at Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School following the playing of our national anthem. And we are just about set for action as we get set for the uh, introduction of the starting lineups here to the crowd. We gave them to you just a moment ago. Uh, Coach John Morgerson in his first year trying to build things at Dunbar, trying to get things going. You build enthusiasm for a program and down through the, the lower grades as well. It takes a, a little while to get that going sometimes, Rick. Yeah, it does. And Dunbar has kind of had a, a round table of coaches lately. They need to get some consistency because, as you said, that's how you build teams up. Uh, Coach Ligon been around station for a long time, so, you know, he's done the same thing. These kids have been played together and been together in this Dunbar team. They're trying to reset a, just a, an amazing tradition that Dunbar came in with, with state championships, state finals. Uh, you know, we've talked about a lot of the players, Cameron Mills, Collier Mills, George Baker, the highlight maker. Uh -huh. a, lot of, a lot of kids have come through here. So they're trying to get back that tradition. Well, we look up and see the banners honoring past Dunbar teams, and we see banners honoring uh, Darnell Burton and Cameron Mills from the early 90s teams. They were state runners up two years in a row, uh, both heartbreaking and a great accomplishment at the same time, but they had some great teams then and came back and won the 2016 uh, state championship. So uh, they have built some history here in this school. This particular Dunbar school has only been around since the early 1990s. And then, of course, uh, Bryan Station, they had the uh, Bryan Station Henry Clay game the other night, and uh, they had uh, an honor uh, presentation to uh, James Lee of Henry Clay and his uh, friend and former high school rival and UK teammate Jack Gibbons was also there. So we had basketball royalty in Lexington there that night. But quite a history, a lot of great players for Bryan Station too. Melvin Turpin and the great Leroy Bird come to mind. What oh, a player yeah, he was. Baby magic. Yeah. 
So you see, you see where this team goes from here, and this is one of the better teams that Station's had in a while. So Keith, they need to try to get back in the winning ways tonight. Yeah, they want to get back on track. They've stumbled the last couple of times out and scored just 45 against Eastern in that game recently. And we are underway, and Station will have the first try as Amari Owens has it out front. Rashad Faulkner is in there as a starter tonight. Here is Adams, and now out of the corner, there is Owens. That one in and out and back in again. Starting off with a three-pointer. That's exactly what they want, and now Station picks up all over the court as they will. They really put, like to put that pressure on. Here's a double team. Sweat gets away now. Gets it over to Van Dyke. In the corner it goes to Hilt, and a nice three-point shot out of the corner. Yeah, really nice answer for Dunbar there. Now here is Faulkner, and he's got one. It's a three-point <laughs> three contest right now. Two for two for Station and one for one for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs on the attack, constantly having to be wary of the trap situations. Here's Van Dyke in the corner again, and that is Hill, or rather Hilt, and Hilt has hit another three, and we're even at six. He's found his spot out there. Gonzalez. Very nice-looking player is at 6'7". He's going to be a good one. And now the shot from outside by Adams. Davion Adams connects. And what a display of outside shooting. It's 9-6. to six. Yeah, this court's on fire right now <laughs> on that three-point line. Why bother with those two-pointers, right? Exactly. Here's Van Dyke on the move for Dunbar, pressured by Faulkner. Now gets rid of it to McCord, wearing number 20. Yeah, the station's moved out of their zone into a man-to-man -man to try to stop those three-point shots. Outside to Hill, guarded by Davion Adams. Dunbar being patient. That's something they'll need to do, take advantage of every offensive opportunity. And slow this game down, exactly what they want to do, get in a half-court game. Jumper from the middle of the lane won't go for McCord, and it's a Bryan Station rebound to Tayshawn Adams. Now inside it goes to Gonzalez. His shot off the baseline, no good. Fight for that board. And eventually it's corralled by Hilt of Dunbar. Off to Hill. Good defensive sequence there by the Bulldogs to get that stop. 9-6 to score. All three pointers in this ball game so far. Bryant Station on top with the early lead. Now Hill on the side. And there is the shot off the top of the key. That one's good by Sweat, and there's another three. Yeah, exactly. A great job here by Bulldogs. I like to say, answering Station's run. This is what Dunbar wanted to do and what Station did not want them to do. Faulkner finds Owens inside. The scoop shot won't go. And pulled out of there by Hill of Dunbar up to Van Dyke. The left-hander moves down the sideline, gets out of the double team, and then off to Hill on the side. Missed the shot, Hilt rather, and he missed the shot this time. And now it's Faulkner for Bryan Station. Amari Owens, we haven't seen one of those drives just yet, but we probably will before long. Here is Gonzalez with the three. Or no, was that a two? It was a three by yeah. Gonzalez. A thirty point for thirty percent free throw, our three point shooter. So, if you're if you're Dunbar, you're going to give him that shot. But boy, he put it in, no hesitation there. Yeah, a nice smooth touch that time, and hit the three, and it's twelve to nine. Van Dyke makes a move, can't get away. Now the shot from outside, and that one's good, and that's by Hilt. And we've had another three, and we're tied at twelve. I tell you what, Hilt, he's on fire tonight, but this, <laughs> this Dunbar offense looking very comfortable outside that three-point line. Tayshawn Adams with it. Now in the corner to Davion. They tried to go inside to Gonzalez off his fingertips and out of bounds. And the score tied at 12 as we near the halfway point in the first quarter. Yeah, if you're going to make that pass into Gonzalez, you've got to hit him way up high there. That one kind of went off the side and just bounced out of bounds, but... I tell you what, if you're Dunbar, you want to take. You said you want to take advantage of every oper offensive opportunity you have, and they've just got one off a turnover. Burton into the game for Brian Station. Now a drive to the basket by Sweat. That one's knocked away. Here come the defenders the other way. Amari Owens. There's a drive down the middle. That one kicks off the rim. Rebound to Burton. He gets it back outside. Faulkner's got a good look, and he drills it. 
Yeah, I saw him hit some shots earlier in the game, in the JV game. Nice shooter out there. 15-12. Brian stationed on top. We've not had a two-pointer as yet. With three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Yeah, how many games we talk about Noah can hit a three-pointer? Well, right now, Noah can hit a two-pointer. No, it's going gets a little tough once you get inside there. Now there's a foul. That'll go against Faulkner. Yeah, Faulkner. I misspoke. He was not in the JV game, but I've seen him play before and a good shooter. But he did a, he did your, uh, a very common mistake. He slapped down at the ball. And when you do that, the officials are going to call that almost 100% of the time. And Station's coming in with some replacements because the, the starters just didn't start out the way Coach Ligon wanted to. In my interview, he talked about a fast start, and they just haven't been able to do it. See Richmond in the game for Brian Station. Where's number three? Nice pass to Sweat along the baseline, blocked from behind by Burton. There's Galinsky just into the ball game along with Carpenter, number 30. Now here's Amari Owens, gets it over to Richmond, and there's Galinsky wide open. And the shot falls off the rim, rebound to Burton, and we'll get a foul on that one. Galinsky, another good shooter from outside, couldn't get that one to fall. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Burton's doing a really good job. He had a block on the other end, got that offensive rebound, got the foul. So doing a good job here. And now it's going to be interesting to see who Brian Station goes to uh, for offensive firepower in this set. Ball knocked away, a near steal, but that went out of bounds, and it'll go back to the defenders. That is Richmond to take the ball out. Justin Richmond wearing number three. Fakes and then gets it in. Long one by Owens. No good. That one was short. And then a foul on the rebound. Yeah, Galinsky there, you can't take that chance. You just can't go over someone's back to try to smack that ball. Even if you think you jumped higher than he did, he had you blocked out. Just go to the other end. So 15-12, Brian Station on top of Dunbar as we play in the first quarter. I should say 5-4 to four in the three-point yeah, right. right. <laughs> That's right. Here's a shot from the corner. That one no good by Hill. They've cooled off a little bit from the three-point range. Now Hill makes the interception, gets it off to Hilt, and ahead it goes. There's the drive. That shot not good. And the defenders come the other way. Owens on a drive. He's fouled by Hill. Yeah, surprise Owens with that left hand. Didn't go all the way underneath the basket. He gets the free throw line. And, uh, Keith, you called the game the other night. He's got uh, – Owens has a wrap on that right thumb there. I'm not sure if he had that the other night or not. But – I don't know, sometimes just a little thing like that, even though you're left-handed, could throw your shot off just a little bit. That's right. That's right. And, of course, he's a, a, a good ball handler, can make his move on the dribble outside and then get an opening. Shot no good. That one rolled off. He was surprised to see that result, it looked like. Amari Owens. He'll have another try, and that one spins out of there. And the rebound to Hill of Dunbar. Just a 56% free throw shooter. Yeah. Needs to improve on that. Here is McCord moving into the circle. And now off in the corner it goes. Jumper not there for Hilt. And Brian Station's got it. On the move are the defenders. That shot deflected off Carp by Carpenter. And, uh, and Richmond followed it in. So we've got a two-pointer in this ball game, And it's 17-12. Brian Station now a steal. Here is Owens spinning for the basket. That one's blocked, and now McCord's got it, and Dunbar is on the move. McCord drives all the way, missed the shot. Rebound to Hill. Boy, Bulldogs retain possession, but missed an opportunity right there. And a back tap there on the turnover. So Brian Station's getting a lot of opportunities. He just can't put it in the basket right now. Carpenter with it, looking over that Dunbar defense. Now Richmond on the side, back to Carpenter along the baseline. Outside it goes. Galinsky, another try. He's got this one. Yeah, if he gets his feet set, he's really, really good shooter there. And they got 20 to 12. We're going to go to a break. And 20 to 12 is the score. 119 to go. First quarter, Brian stationed on top. We'll be right back on Glycott. Paramedics do the incredible. They help save lives. And so can you by donating at CSL Plasma. Your plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines. And you can be rewarded for your generosity. Every plasma donation can do so much for so many. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate plasma today at your local CSL Plasma Center. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. 
Dunbar working against a full court press as we resume play. They've tightened up the pressure this time, and the Bulldogs get it in, and they'll get it across, although now Van Dyke in trouble, and there's the violation over and back. Yeah, both officials, one called it a slap ball, and the other one called it over and back, and they went ahead and called it with the over and back call there, so very, very close. Now they're going to talk about it. But that time... Brian Station brought the pressure full court and stayed with it. Yeah, that's one thing. They thought they got across the midcourt and they would just back off. But as you said, they stayed with it until they got the turnover and chance to take a double-digit lead here at the end of the first quarter. Defenders up by eight. Carpenter floats it in there. Burton on the move. Forced one up, got it back, and then a foul on the before he can make a second try. Keith, I sound like a broken record every time I get in these games, but I say what Burton at this height, he needs to keep that ball up high. There's no way they can get in there and get a jump ball on him unless he brings it down. My coach at Henry Clay, Al Pruitt, said you make a six foot seven guy five foot seven when you bring that ball down to your knees. So he'll learn from that. But boy, he's played a good game. Going to sit out right now, but had a really good action. In the first yeah, he quarter. gave him some good minutes there. Here is uh, Tayshawn Adams back outside. The drive and the miss by Owens, but. He'll go to the line. Tell you what, Owens, one thing about him is if you're playing against him, you need to realize he's going to drive about 75% of the time. So don't go for that pump fake. Just go out on him and play straight up defense instead of jumping out at him. Amari Owens short with that one. 0 for 3 tonight. Really needs to get those knees in it, and then he needs to put a little more arch on that ball, just not getting much arch at all. That, uh, that one spins out, but Adams with the rebound puts it in. And, again, that's where Brian Station really excels is on the offensive boards, even after a free throw. Tayshawn Adams with the basket. It's 22-12. to 12. Shot blocked from the corner, the attempt by Hilt, but saved by Dunbar. And now Hill will try from the other side, and he's got a three. Nice play there. Didn't give up after that block shot. Made a nice pass. Richmond takes it down. Oh, had Adams in the middle, just couldn't control the pass. And Dunbar heading the other way now. Now a steal by Owens. Here come the defenders. Gets away after a collision. Now Richmond picks it up, finds Galinsky, but he is defended well over there by Hilt, and the defenders will set it up again. One last shot here. Four seconds, clock ticking away. Adams will have to get rid of it. He does, and put it in right as the buzzer sounds. We've come to the end of the first quarter of play with the score. Brian Station 24 and Dunbar 15. We'll be right back with the second quarter in just a moment here on Glycott. Let's get real. We offer a lot of the same courses you'll find at a four-year college. But with our small classes and personal attention, you won't get lost in the crowd. College for the real world. College for your world. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo, plus free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at LexOutdoorPower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Paul Lawrence, Dunbar High School. Rick, any thoughts on that first quarter other than that fantastic three-point shooting display at the start? Yeah, I tell you what, I mean, Dunbar, they're down nine points, but they actually, actually, actually feel pretty good. They've had a good offensive effort, but, boy, now this defense is really starting to take a toll, but a good press break there. Good press break and a layup at the end of that break by Hilt. And it's 24-17. Good work by the Bulldogs against the pressure that time. Now Brian Station in the half-court offense. There's Axum in the game, Jordan Axum, number 14. Pass inside, tipped away, and here's Sweat out in front, drives for the basket, lays it in. Yeah, good start here to this quarter. One thing I've noticed in defenders, Owens is out. He's kind of holding that hand over there and just not playing right now. And another steal, the drive by Van Dyke along the baseline. Can't get it to fall. 24-19, it holds. And now a long one by Galinsky at the other end, and that one's good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's not shy. He will shoot from there, but he can hit it, and as he did there. 
27-19. Dunbar working hard every possession as you have to against Bryan Station. Here is Hilt open from the left side. Missed the shot. Galinsky off with it for the defenders. That's what we talked about, Bryan Station. They want to make it difficult on Dunbar to try to get a little bit of fatigue going. We've not seen anyone check in lately for Dunbar, and they're going to have to put some Put some size in the middle there and see what they can do. Galinsky, another one. That one's short, an air ball that time, but scooped up there by Hilt. Defenders pressuring in backcourt. Monte Ashford, number 11, in there for Bryan Station now. And now they find Van Dyke in the corner. Shot's no good. Rebound by Ashford. The Dunbar's were getting really good looks, just not being able to put it in the basket. Ashford comes up himself and drops it in just inside the three-point line. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get the rebound and come all the way down, and no one stopped him. They able to put the ball in the lead, get a double-digit lead. 29-19, Bryan Station on top. Here's Sweat, sees an opening, goes for the basket and draws the foul. Great play there. Don't settle for that outside shot. Take it inside. See if you can get to the free throw line. Exactly what he did. A, a good job there to get to the free throw line, a 67% free throw shooter. And the chance to, I always say, you can cut into the lead, uh, with more success when that clock's not running. First team foul on Bryan Station here in this second quarter. Team fouls reset with each quarter, and they'll shoot two at the fifth one. In this case, a shooting foul, so Sweat at the line gets the first one. More substitutes for Bryan Station. Gonzalez back in there. I mentioned him earlier, very mm -hmm. smooth-looking athletic player at 6'7", and uh, he seems to have a pretty high ceiling, wouldn't you say? I would think so. Yeah. Coach Ligon talked about it in our pregame interview. He talked about just the fatigue, both mental and physical. And right now, I think that's why you're seeing so many players play for Station. He's trying to find the mix of players that can come out and do the job he's looking for. Defenders. Working with it now with an eight-point lead. Outside it goes. The shot from out there is good by Axum. Yeah, nice nice play, inside-out play, and that's exactly what Coach Ligon talked about, wanting to bring the ball in first and then either get the shot up or hit one of his three-point shooters outside. Bulldogs work it across the 10-second line. That's the first phase of your offense when you're facing this kind of pressure. Now the pass up. Over to Jones, who's in for Dunbar, and that one off his hands and out of bounds, and it'll go back to Bryan Station. Yeah, Dunbar's coming in with some subs right now. Jones that time just what, didn't expect that ball to hit hit him right there in the hands and could control it. So brought in some size there with the big man Mafuta in for Dunbar. It can be Mafuta in number wearing number 55. Aquavion Jones we mentioned a moment ago wearing 15. Here's Axum, looks for an opening, none there. He backs it out. Faulkner across the lane. Can't get the jumper to fall. And Mafuta has the rebound off to Van Dyke. He's in a hurry. Gets it to McCord. Good look, but the shot spins out of there. Battle for the rebound by Mafuta. Now Van Dyke open, and he can't get it to fall. Spins off the rim, and Axum tracks it down for Brian Station. A good second chance opportunity for Dunbar. Just could not put it in the basket from the three-point line now. Here's Gonzalez. Fires away and misses. And the rebound saved in. Dunbar going the other way. Sweat drives around a man. Now tried to go to Mafuta. He's got it after a drop pass. And there will be a foul as Mafuta went up for it. Yeah, Gonzalez on that one. You're six foot seven. Go straight up, hands straight up, Keith. Don't need to bend over right there, and that's why he got the foul called. He did have his hands. He didn't move, but like I say, he was bent forward, which is always a foul. Mafuta at the line and misses the first. He's a 40% free throw shooter, so it's a little bit of an adventure for him at the line. Brian Station coming back in with three more players. Going to bring Owens back in. Let's see if he that little rest will help him with that thumb, see if he can kind of get back on track. And Adams, we've seen him with just a lot of big scoring games, see if he can get on track right now also. Mafuta, 6'4", junior. Puts the second one in. They also brought in uh, Christian Gurton, a junior for Bryan Station, 32. He is a hard-nosed player, can help with that pressure defense. Spinning is Davion Adams. Nice move and got the shot. 
Yeah, very, really good job there. Coach Ligon talked about the size advantage we had, they have, and they went ahead and really used that to their advantage that time. 12-point Bryan Station margin right now. Van Dyke down the lane, had it knocked away. Defenders coming hard. Here is the pass ahead to Adams, and he lays it in. Davion Adams with the pass from Owens. And it's 36-22, and Dunbar is entering the danger zone now. Yeah, and this is where this fatigue really takes over for Dunbar. They've had to kind of keep up with Station, and now Station's getting some easy baskets. McCord off to Hilt. Misses the shot from outside, and Faulkner off with it for Brian Station. Owens down the lane, and the dish off to... Tayshawn Adams for two. And Dunbar wants timeout, 38-22. Bryan Station on top will be right back on Glycon. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. The producer's hat tonight, and we're glad to be with you from Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. 38-22 the score. Ryan Station pulling away now, with applying that pressure defense and getting some of their transition game going, and they can be really hard to handle. Yeah, I tell you what, they're going with the 1-2-2, a uh, little bit of a zone press out here, a little bit of trapping, see if they can make it uncomfortable on Dunbar, get some more turnovers and just increase this lead. Good ball movement by Dunbar. They got a shot for Van Dyke, but he can't get it to fall. Now Owens with the sharp pass ahead, and Faulkner lays it in. That's one thing with Dunbar settling for those three-point shots. A lot of long rebounds come out, and Stations had a really good opportunity for some easy fast break points. A beautiful pass there by Owens. Now the pass knocked down. Adams got the interception ahead to Owens, and the shot's blocked as Van Dyke came down to get it. Yeah, good hustle there by Van Dyke on that one. Owens with the pump fake, let the first defender of the Bulldogs jump by him, but then a nice block. So now Station gets the ball underneath. Going to have going to wait till this play comes in and get some more subs in. Ryan Station working with it in the offensive end. There is a left-hander by Faulkner up there and good. Boy, this lead's ballooned up to 21 points. Keith. They've got 43 on the board with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, and Coach Ligon has to be pleased with his pregame talk with me. This is what he wanted to see. He wasn't real pleased in the first quarter, but they've taken over in another turnover. Brian Station's got it. Got an open man down here, and there is Adams, Davion Adams with the layup and a nice pass to find him. That's 45. That's how many they scored in their last game against Eastern, and now they have 45 on the board with two minutes to go in the first half. Here's the shot by Hilt. It's no good. You know, Curtin has it knocked away, but a foul on Van Dyke. Keith, one thing you have to think if you're Dunbar on your offensive end, you don't want to just settle for quick threes. You want to go ahead, take some time off this clock. I know you're not going to have a 23-point shot to get back in this game, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to give Station opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to get out in front of you. We saw in the JV game, uh, I think Dunbar scored three points in the second half of the JV game. They don't want to have a repeat performance here. A really good first quarter, but, boy, this second quarter, things have kind of fallen apart for this Dunbar team. JT Martin in the ball game for Dunbar, wearing number 10 in white. There's a ball lost by Richmond, and that will be out of bounds to Dunbar. And that's what you have to do. If you're Dunbar right now, you've got to take one possession at a time, get one stop at a time, get one basket at a time, and just see if you can chip into this lead a little bit. But you can't afford to keep on having turnovers. McCord drives into front court, gives it to Sweat. Carpenter is quickly there. They look for the trap out front, and Sweat is called for steps. Yeah, he, uh, you know, that's one of those things. He thought he had a pass, was stepping into that. The pass, the passing lane closed, and then he had no choice but to walk there. Under a minute and a half to go, first half. Defenders on the attack again. Amari Owens looking for that drive. Here he goes, puts it up going by. Missed the shot that time, out of bounds, or had it blocked out of bounds. Yeah. Mafuta 
in on the play, and now we'll get uh, Kaelin Hunter in the ball game for Bryan Station, replacing Tayshawn Adams. Tell you what, Owens, he can do about anything with the ball he wants. He showed with that dribbling exhibition there. Off the dribble with the right hand, left hand reverse layup is good. Great job there, was able to get to that right side. They talked about forcing him to the right, Keith, and he did well going to the right that time. Laid it back up and in, 47-22. Quick pass in the middle to McCord, but nowhere to go. And back outside it goes, pass is deflected, scooped up by Carpenter, and he finds Owens, and off in the middle it goes, Kalen Hunter lays it in. Beautiful pass there by Owens, very unselfish, really good Good offensive play there, and another back tap. Ball is tipped away. It's Hunter again out front, and missed the layup this time. A couple of tips, no good. Owens has it. Back to Richmond, three-pointer in the air, and that one misses. Picked out of the air by Mafuta. Bulldogs trying to run this time. They had the fast break opportunity, but the pass not on target. Now Sweat with a try from outside. Gurton has it for Bryan Station. Owens from the side, no good. Jones has it for Dunbar, and the Bulldogs will go on the attack. Ten seconds left in the half, and another turnover there, Keith. They just, they kind of just keep on shooting themselves in the foot. They just can't get it going. But at this point in the game, you just got to slow things down. Even with eight seconds, ten seconds, you have plenty of time. But right now, they're going to give this last opportunity to Brian Station. 8.5 on the clock as the defenders put it into play. Owens picks it up and starts straight for the basket. Puts it up going by. It won't go in. Mafuta has it for Dunbar. Off to Sweat. Gets to half court and launches it. And off the backboard it goes. And we have come to the end of the first half of play with the score. Brian Station 49 and Dunbar 22. We'll be back with our halftime report in just a moment here on Glycott. Children love Head Start, and you will too. Community Action Council's Prep Academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Teacher, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. With Fast Signs, see the visual possibility in your business. See it in lights and flags, on a van, in metal, on the floor, in color. With signs and graphics, you can say anything, do anything, be anything. So make your statement. With your masterful team of visual marketing experts, anything is possible. Fast Signs, make your statement. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. Tradition means values. And we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by IBEW Local 369. Find out about their apprenticeship and training programs that help you earn while you learn at IBEWLocal369.com. IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential. We are back at halftime, 49-22 the score. 
as uh, Bryan Station has really opened things up in this second quarter over Dunbar. That uh, pressure defense transition game have uh, really made a difference for the Bryan Station defenders here in the second quarter. I'm Keith Elkins, Rick Reams alongside, Chris Labar, our producer tonight. And Rick, they just really they did what Bryan Station does in that second quarter, and uh, Dunbar. They had uh, trouble with the ball handling when they did get a transition break themselves, and then the shots stopped dropping, and uh, we've got a big deficit for them. Yeah, I tell you what, in the first quarter we talked about the fact I think they uh, they hit four three-pointers in a row. Dunbar did, kept this game at 12-12. to Really in the first quarter, although they were down nine at the end of the first quarter, they had played a really good game. They had been able to get it into a half-court game, which can't, Coach Ligon talked about, Coach Morgerson talked about Eastern did that to them also. They kept them in that half-court game. And as you talked about, the amazing thing was this Bryan Station team scored 45 points in the entire game against Eastern the other night. 49 at halftime here, and I tell you what, you said it right. Bryan Station was doing what Bryan Station wanted to do, and they did anything they wanted to do. The thing I've been most impressed about, we talked about it pregame, the number of players that Station can bring in. Well, they almost all played in the first half, Keith. Had a really good uh, game. Uh, you know, some of their players started off slow. Uh, Mario Owens started off slow. Check that hand might be bothering him a little bit. Um, but I tell you what, they really made some nice passes at the end, shared the ball really well, and then I think the key was that pressure defense that just had turnover after turnover after turnover for the Dunbar team. And the depth plays into that pressure defense too because if Brian Station went at their opponents like, like we've seen them do and only went six or seven deep, then they would be the ones worn out in the fourth quarter. They couldn't use that all the time, but they, he's got the players and uses them uh, in and out, and everybody has to play hard on defense. They do, and they switch, they switch defenses also. We saw them at first, they were in that zone. Dunbar shot them out of it. They went into man-to-man. The start of the second quarter, they made a change. They went full course. Not only that, they went 1-2-2 trapping zone defense, and it just paid major dividends. And like you said, if you're a Bryan Station team, you play as long as you can, as hard as you can. You point to your chest and tell Coach Ligon and take you out and get some rest because the next guy coming back could do the same thing. Well, the defenders have built up a big lead here in the, the second quarter of this ball game, and they now lead 49-22 at halftime. Some uh, unofficial stats. We have uh, Davion Adams with uh, nine. Uh, Faulkner has uh, uh, 11, and he has shown a good left-handed touch out there and nailing some three-pointers. Uh, Jaden Sweat has been uh, Dunbar's leading scorer this year, and uh, we have him with seven unofficially at halftime tonight. But it's not so much the uh, a big individual night for anyone. This is uh, – team versus team and and the uh, uh, Bulldogs are going to have to get things together as far as their ball handling is concerned and Brian Station you just want to keep the pressure on and and uh, like you said the, the the passing was such an uh, an important part of their pulling away in the second quarter yeah some beautiful passes especially some long passes different things like that if you're Dunbar right now, Coach Morgerson has to be talking to his team about the fact, look, we are down 27, but what we have to do is let's win the third quarter. Let's win the first four minutes of the third quarter. Let's build something from this. I think you said a key word is – As you get closer to district and region time, you as a team have to be playing at a high peak as a team. You're going to see a lot of teams come into district and region that have one good player on their team. But if he has an off night, that team's in trouble. And right now, can Dunbar build on that team effort? They're walking in. We can see them walking in out uh, out of their sidelines right now. Very, 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 very dejected. But they they have another half to play. And we'll get to that second half in just a few minutes. Tonight's halftime stats are presented by Traditional Bank, who you bank with matters. 49-22, Bryant Station at the half. We'll be right back on Glycott. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. Gen Z is a generation. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. 
The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s, and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock, so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter, and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo, plus free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at LexOutdoorPower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Here at Dunbar High School, I'm Keith Elkins, Rick Reams alongside, and the Bryan Station defenders dominating here in the second quarter, especially 49-22 they lead. Lots of basketball coming up on Glycod, including tomorrow night. Uh, Friday night we'll have the... Lafayette at Douglas game, so join us for that one, a 7.30 tip, and uh, lots and lots of basketball ahead on Glycod, so we hope you'll stay with us, Glycod.com. Check it out. You can see the schedules and find the games if you've missed them before, and we encourage you to subscribe to that uh, YouTube channel as well on Glycod. So we're ready to go now, start of the second half. It'll be the defender's ball. As we get set for third quarter action, and... Adams plays it in to Owens. And the defenders are going to their half-court offense. Gonzalez, a jumper from 15, spins out of there. And the rebound to Dunbar. Hilt has it and gives it off to Van Dyke. And now to Hill. Got a set play out of halftime. Just couldn't put the ball in the basket. And the shot from outside is good. That is Chase Hill. Good start for the Bulldogs here in the third quarter. Yeah, started off like they started the game, so see if they can keep that up. Davion Adams floats it in for Tayshawn Adams, but too tall, and Dunbar comes out with it. McCord has the ball. Being very wary of that trapping defense in backcourt. And gets it across eventually to Sweat. This time, Brian Station backs up into a man-to-man -man off that full court pressure. McCord driving, runs into trouble. Ball out of bounds. Dunbar will retain possession. Owens with nice hands there was able to get a tap on that ball but just couldn't control it. Inbounds pass to McCord, quickly to Sweat. And again, they set up. So they are trying to be patient and get something out of their offense here. Yeah, and that's what I'm sure they talked about at halftime is not forcing things. Nice There's a drive. nice drive. That's Hill on the drive. Got five points in this quarter. Yeah, and it's 49-27, so a couple of good offensive sets for Dunbar have resulted in baskets. Now the defenders again in the half-court offense as Adams goes in the corner to Faulkner, and he missed that one, and the rebound comes off to Hilt of Dunbar. Good job there by Dunbar taking their time, getting across court, and getting to their half-court offense. 
Faulkner applies some pressure to Van Dyke, but Van Dyke reverses and got inside, but Gonzalez with the block, and the defenders have it going the other way. Yeah, tough to take it against the big man. Amari Owens backs it out of there. Now Gonzalez thought about that jumper again. Now Faulkner tried to float it inside, but Hilt was ready for it, makes the interception. Yeah, you can't make that lazy pass in there. You've got to zip it in the lane there and just tried to ease it in and was stolen. Inside Jaden Sweat. Players move through the lane as Hill looks for a teammate. Now goes to Sweat. Van Dyke. Nice move by Sweat. Can't get the shot, but he does find an open teammate. Van Dyke's shot fades to the left, and but pulled out of there by Hill. Yeah, really good series here by Dunbar. He drives and puts it in. Hill scores again. Uh, Seven points here in the third quarter. Coach Ligon's seen enough. He's going to change all five starters out. There's a drive and a basket, so the defenders answer 51-29 the score, and we will get a timeout here at this point, and a new lineup is going to come in for Bryan Station, and we will take a break and be right back with more action from Dunbar in just a moment on Glycott. Let's get real. You could go to work right after high school, but spend a little time with us, and we'll give you a better chance to do more, be more, and earn more. College for the real world. College for your world. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. 129 the score. Bryan Station with the big lead, but they had a 27-point margin at the half. And uh, Rick uh, Dunbar has made some progress with their uh, their offense. I mean, they got a big, big hole to try to climb out of, but they are patient with the ball and getting some decent shots. Yeah, they've made a, a, a little chink in this lead here. Driving shot by Sweat is batted away, and defenders have it. There's Richmond passing along the baseline to Girton. Made that host of substitutions. There is Ashford driving. Shot falls off the rim, and Sweat has it for Dunbar. Ahead it goes to Hilt. Finds McCord in the middle. Nice jumper. Turn around. Won't go. And Girton off with it for Bryan Station. Yeah, good look there. Just couldn't get it in the basket. Galinsky back in for Bryan Station. That's Carpenter number 30. And now Galinsky launches one. That one's off. Rebound. Girton puts it back up and in. Yeah, that's a really good job by Girton getting on that board. Kept the ball up. Went right back to the basket. Defenders, or rather the Bulldogs, work against the press. And a steal there. Galinsky. Has the ball now, driving against two Dunbar players. Tries for the layup and misses. But it's a Bryan Station rebound. Girton missed from point blank range. And now a scramble. Ball's on the floor, and Dunbar has it. Good hustle by Dunbar getting that on the floor and getting that ball. Hilt defended by Richmond. Now they look for the double team in the corner. And we get a timeout. That comes with 3.43 to go, third quarter. Bryan Station up by 24 now. We'll keep it right here, 53-29. And uh, as we said, Dunbar responding well in terms of what they need to be doing right now. It's just that that's such a huge margin up there facing them. It is, but we talked about the fact let's win the first half of the third quarter, and they have done that. Coach Ligon is none too pleased with his team. His starters came out at the beginning of this quarter, just put it in cruise control, and I think he talked to them that, about that at halftime. We talked about the fact they put five new players in, set their starters down to try to make a point, and right now, if you're Dunbar, you're feeling pretty good, not with the score, but with how you're playing right now. That's what you want to see, a beautiful press break on the last series here, but right now, I'm sure what Coach Morgerson's talking about is all of a sudden now, Brian Station is going to increase that defense of intensity, and you've got to make a change. You've got to make sure that you're not going to get a lot of turnovers here. But what you want to do if you're Dunbar right now is you don't want to get caught up in this fast-paced game. Continue to play the half-court game, and again, see if you can win the rest of this quarter. Build on the little things. You can't come back all at one time, but they're playing much better than they did in the second quarter. They trail now by 24. At 53-29, it was 49-22 at the half. Bulldogs have it in offensive court now, and Dunbar does pick up that defense. A deflection picked up by Galinsky, and he saves it behind his back to Girton. Great hands by Girton there to tip that ball away. 
Yelinski out front. Makes a spinning move and drives down the lane and lays it in. One of the hardest shots in basketball. Did a bank shot from the front of the rim, but I tell you what, Galinsky, he's always around the ball. He's got a nose for that ball. Sweat with it. Now Brian or Dunbar can clear it and set up a little offense. Galinsky with the deflection, but Sweat came up with it. Hands everywhere. Yeah. Does a really good job, hands and feet. Nice pass inside, though, and McCord cashes it in. Good offensive set there, took their time. Ryan station up quickly. Richmond with the three-pointer off the left side. There's Galinsky around that basketball and got a good shot, but couldn't get it to fall, but Gert Gerton's there to tip it in. I'll tell you what, Gerton's playing a really good second half here, a lot of activity. And again, Dunbar is able to break the press, but they look for the trap. Got it into the middle, though, and now off to Van Dyke. Drives in and has it blocked away. Gerton again. right there again. Yeah, very, very active. I've been really impressed with Gerton tonight. He's brought a lot to the plate, and right now Owens is going to come back in and take Galinsky back out. And then also you have uh, Mafuda coming back in for the Bulldogs. This Dunbar team's got to be a little bit tired. Again, they've had to put up with a lot of pressure here the last two or three minutes of this quarter. And now we're set, and Hill will put it in play. Mafuta on the side, immediately double team. Now they're still over there in the corner, but Hill is going to try to clear it, and they bumped him as he came up the sideline. Yeah, with Owens, what you got to do is you got to use the sideline as your defender out there. Get your foot on the other side of the out of bounds and make him run through you there. First team foul on Bryan Station in the third, and now a steal, near steal by Owens. They battle for it near midcourt. Van Dyke comes out of there with it. Off on the left side. Hill will fake, then the shot, it won't go. And the rebound to Ashford. Brian Station on the move. And the pull-up jumper is good by Ashford. We saw him do that in the first half. Got the rebound, brought it all the way down, hit right at the free throw line. This time from the L out there, really good job. Pressure from Brian Station. Sweat drives in, and he is fouled. He'll go to the line. Yeah, Sweat does a really good job of getting to the basket, kind of getting where he wants to go. If you're Brian Station again, you got to step in front of him. Don't get to the point where he wants to, but now going to get to the free throw line for two. Two team fouls on Brian Station in this third quarter, and it'll be Jaden Sweat to the line. Had 24 in a game against Atherton earlier this year, back on December 28th. Also, 24 at Lafayette. Two more subs for Dunbar. It'll be Tyler McCord and Daquavion Jones. Jones 15 and Tyler McCord number 20. Now we see Burton back in there for Brian Station wearing number 44. So they have Burton and Gerton in Burton there on the inside. Gerton, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee I'm going to get those two mixed up, yes. so I apologize. That one's off the front of the rim, and Gerton has it. Off to Ashford. Richmond a wide open three. That one sails long of the basket. Bulldogs come up on the run, and now... Sweat splits a double team, drives down the lane, gets the layup. Good job. He's really got a lot of offensive skills there, able to get to that ball to the basket. 59-34 and a foul on the drive to the basket. Owens again, very quick hands, trying to get into the lane there. Bring Axel back in for Brian Station. I appreciate Brian Station having names on the back yeah. of their jerseys, boy. I can't see a whole lot, but I can see those white names back there. That really helps an old man. Well, you know, both teams are uh, complying with the broadcaster's ultimate yes. request, and that is light shirts, dark numbers, dark shirts, light numbers. Yes. So thanks to both teams. But the names, uh, that is a nice touch. And here's a spin move and dropped in there for Burton. Yeah, nice job there off the inbounds play. Now station up with it again. Here's Amari Owens down the lane. Left-hand shot no good as he was fading away. He's got it again, and he's fouled as he drives in there this time. A yeah, good job by Owens getting that ball to the basket. Again, you know, so many kids, if you get that first shot, you miss it or it gets blocked or whatever, you drop your head. But Owens does a great job getting that ball back and taking it back to the basket. 
get to the free throw line where he didn't have any luck in the first half. Let's see if he can get uh, a couple to go in here. And got the first one there, and now one for five on the night. And that's something he really needs to pick up on because as they continue to play, the way he drives the ball to the basket, he's going to get a lot of opportunities at the free throw line. He had a 44-point night against Wes Jessman earlier in the season. Hit two there, looked very comfortable at the line that time. 63-34 as we get to the final minute of the third quarter. Jones off to Van Dyke. Nice bounce pass. Found his teammate McCord. Shots missed. M Mafuda has it, and he will go to the line here as he tried to put it back up. Was fouled. Going to be underneath, but Axum saying, what can I do? I was trying to block the big man out, but, you know, with that one, he did a good job, but, again, Mafuda, just a lot of size in there. Yeah, and it was not a shooting foul, so... Dunbar does put it in play from underneath the basket. Driving is Van Dyke. Pull-up jumper good. Nice left-handed move there. 63-36 as we come up on a half minute to go in the third quarter. So Bryan Station has their halftime lead back, a margin of 27. That's Jordan Axum on the side for the defenders. In the corner, Owens fakes and goes along the baseline. Got in trouble under there. Tried to scoop it up, but... Had no shot by that time, and now the ball deflected away as Dunbar comes up court. McCord hustling after it. It'll be out of bounds to the Bulldogs. Yeah, Owens forced that one down there. He's got a lot, a lot of talent, a lot of abilities, but on that one he just forced that. And I just think that thumb's bothering him. The way he's holding his hand and everything just doesn't look comfortable out there right now. Quick pass on the inbounds play, and the shot was deflected, but Van Dyke got it to roll in there. He's got another basket at 63-38 as we come down to the final 10 seconds. Here is Axum. Better make the move quick. Drives in, missed the shot, and we come to the end of the third quarter with the score. Brian Station 63 and Dunbar 38. Back with the final quarter of action in just a moment from Dunbar High School right here on Glycott. Confidence and security of a pre-owned Kia from Cartown Kia. This incredible certification package is loaded with a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 10 years of national roadside assistance, and two years of free maintenance. Choose from over 70 certified pre-owned Kias or over 1,000 vehicles of all makes and models. It's new car driving at used cars prices with certified pre-owned Kias from CartownKiaUSA.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Sixty-three thirty-eight. as we get ready for the final quarter of action here at Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School tonight. Keith Elkins along with Rick Reams. Chris Labar is doing the producing work tonight. A lot of Glycod basketball ahead, including the Lafayette-Douglas game tomorrow night. So we hope to join us for that and onward as we move toward tournament play. Rick, uh, a big deficit again for the Bulldogs, but they did win that quarter. Yeah, they won the quarter, and that's what they wanted to do. They had a really good lead the first half of that quarter, but now you tell your team, same thing. Fourth quarter, let's go the first four minutes. Let's get the win here. Bulldogs on offense, deflection, but Hill chased it down. Yeah, Brian Station's going to really increase the pressure. McCord missed the jumper, and there is Tayshawn Adams with the rebound. Amari Owens down the lane and got the left-hander to go in. That's where you want to force him to the other side. Don't let him get to his strong hand, especially with the injury. That's one thing a lot of coaches that are going to see this game tonight, they're going to force that right hand. Jones got it out of the crowd over there. Now the Bulldogs moving. Here's Jones with the shot, and it's no good. Takes a bounce and goes beyond the end line, and the defenders will get it back. Yeah, Jones forced that shot up. It's a shot you want him to take, but he just didn't look comfortable with that one. So sometimes maybe make a couple more passes. Jaden Sweat back into the ball game, replacing Jones. And now Axum comes up court for Brian Station. Dunbar's increasing their pressure a little bit out higher on their man-to-man. -man. Interesting to see if they can flash someone in the middle if you're Brian Station. There's Davion Adams on the dribble. Defenders not in a hurry right now. There's now they the move look. in. There's the pass on the baseline. Burton missed the shot. 
And the ball tapped outside and out of bounds. It'll go back to Brian Station. Good ball movement. It set him up pretty well. Yeah, and i tell you what, if – if Dunbar's going to move that defense out, you have to flash someone in the middle. A beautiful pass over uh, to Burton. He just couldn't put it in, but that's a great offensive set there. Axum gets it inside to Burton. Gets it away to Adams, and Tayshawn Adams puts it in. Yeah, Tayshawn Adams, a lot of really good body control, a really strong ball player, able to absorb the pressure and go ahead and get that ball in the basket. 67-38. There's Hill driving. His jumper just won't go. And now Adams on the, or rather Owens on the move for Bryan Station. Pulls up this time. Missed the three. It was short. Van Dyke coming the other way. They'll talk about that one in the film session. Not the best shot for Owens to take right there. Get your team in the offense. Shot from outside is good by Hill. He's having a really good third and fourth quarter. He's come out strong. He gets 10 points in this second half for Hill alone. Under six to go now. Owens just dribbling out front. Now off to Adams. Davion Adams on the move. Gets into the lane and then is fouled. It's so one thing about another thing about this Bryan Station team, Keith, is they all can handle the ball. You've got a big man, Adams, out there handling the ball very comfortably, getting it pretty much where he wants to go. Now they have the ball underneath. See what they do on this out of bounds. Um, I'll tell you what, the Dunbar, a lot of teams these days are man-to-man -man and out of bounds. And, Kentucky Wildcats hadn't had much luck with it. And I think you need to go to a zone. And right there, Burton got a really good look. Came into Burton, but that's Owens now handling it outside. Down the lane he goes. The shot doesn't fall. And Owens comes up with it. Gets it out to Adams on the side. His jumper no good. And the rebound, this one will be tapped out of bounds, and Brian Station will get it again. Give Burton a lot of credit in there. He's putting a lot of pressure on the offensive boards. He may not be getting the ball, but he's tapping those balls up, tapping them to other people. Really good job. 6'6", six, six, Junior, Antoine Burton. Putting in some good work for Brian Station tonight. Yeah, a lot of kids are getting a lot of opportunity to make, make an impact so they can play later on in this season. Spinning jumper by Davion Adams misses. And the Bulldogs have it. Van Dyke all the way. That one's blocked. And here comes Brian Station the other way. Down to Owens. And he lays it in from the left, from the right side. Yeah, with that left hand. Really good job. Put that high up on the board. 69-41. Station's right. dropped back off that uh, trapping zone. Ryan Station won the first matchup 97-59 back in early December over at Bryan Station. Seems like a lifetime ago. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Van Dyke's jumper no good. And Burton has another rebound. It's Tayshawn Adams to Davion Adams and back to Tayshawn and as has it stripped as he goes in, but Brian Station retains it. Here goes Owens, and he puts it in. That's where he's at his best, creating and getting to the basket. Hill for Dunbar. Gives it to Van Dyke. Free throw line jumper is good. Good job there. Dunbar found a crease in that all defense and was able to put the ball in the basket. 71-43, under four minutes left in this one. Ryan Station looking for its 21st win of the season against five losses. Spinning move no good uh, for Adams, for Davion Adams, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, really a good look getting Adams. You know, with his size, he's got a guard on him, did a really good job getting him posted up and get to the basket, couldn't quite put it in, but got the foul and get to the free throw line. Davion Adams, a 6'4 senior. Subs coming in for Brian Station and for the Bulldogs. Brian Station tonight has had a, a lot of um, <laughs> pretty much hockey line substitutions going four and five <laughs> players different. Coach Ligon was none too pleased with his team as they came out, much more pleased with the starters now. I think that's the last we'll see of them tonight. There's the shot by Adams. It's good. And another substitution, and now Adams will leave. He was the shooter, so he stayed in to – Shoot that second free throw, and now we'll see Gonzalez in there again. 
Yeah, and another big guy. First time we're seeing number 55, Brunley Fawn from Bryan Station. McCord chases that one down. Pressure's increasing with these new players in. Jaden Sweat got into the lane and sets up Van Dyke, and he drills it from three. Nice job by Sweat there. Couldn't get the basket up himself, but made a nice pass out. Good look inside to Gonzalez. Nice play. Gonzalez can't get it to fall, and now Fawn tries a couple of times. You know, sometimes with Gonzalez, he's so tall, just dunk the ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. 74-46, 3.04 to go. We'll take a break and be right back with more basketball action on Glycott. First open during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Twenty-eight point margin for Bryan Station as we resume play under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They got Van Dyke making a move, got some room, shot batted away by Fawn, but a foul. Let's see Ricky Gadali in there for Dunbar as well. And Rick, these coaches still they're they're working hard because every segment of the game, somebody can make a play, somebody can learn something. Uh, you can run your offense. There's always something to be coached and coached up. Absolutely. I mean, these games you don't ever just quit playing. You've got to keep on playing. Brian Station bringing a lot of players in, getting a lot of action out there. And again, Keith, there's certain nights you never know. One of these kids might have to come in and play some meaningful minutes. And when they come out there, you want to see what they can do on the court also. 74-47. Bounce pass along the baseline, and Hunter looked like he may have been thinking about the next place yeah. that ball was going to go before he made the catch. He was getting ready to make a spin move to the basket, but he forgot the most important thing, that <laughs> ball, as it rolled to the cheerleaders on the end line. you got to have the cargo. Here is... Sweat with it, and they take it away. Richmond has it ahead to Hunter, driving for the basket. Puts it up no good, but a foul. It's a hard foul and a hard fall at this point. You don't want to make sure, just don't want to see anyone get hurt out there. Really good hustle by Van Dyke, but, boy, he fell down hard on that right arm. So Van Dyke draws the foul, the third on Dunbar here in the fourth quarter, but a shooting foul here, so it'll be... Kaelin Hunter at the line, 6'2", sophomore. Well, they've got some good young players on this team, too, don't they? Yeah, this team has a high upside in the years to come. Nice touch at the line for Kaelin Hunter, and he's in the scoring column. Actually had a field goal earlier. We talked about it, but watching the JV game, their JV team puts pressure all over the court. So these kids, even that play JV, they know what they're getting into when they come onto the varsity level. He makes both free throws. Kids I'm impressed with, Keith, the ones that play the JV and varsity and putting pressure all over the court in both <laughs> games. Young, these old legs don't understand that anymore. I was going to say, it would be nice to be 15 or 16 yeah, again exactly. and be playing JV and varsity. You, wanna, you probably can play all night. Here's the drive by Sweat, a big collision with Fawn. We called a game the other night, Tates Creek. They had one of their kids played the freshman JV and varsity. Started wow. in all three games. Very impressive. That is a... A workload at any age. I'd have cramps for six weeks. <laughs> I would never get out of bed. Yeah, stay hydrated is a real given if you're going to play in three games. Jaden Sweat short with the free throw. Going to bring Gerton back in. Gert. We talked about what a good game he's had tonight. Been very active and, again, pays dividends on down the line. You know you can put that kid in in a district region game and he can make a difference for you. We mentioned Fawn, uh, number 55 for Bryan Station, a 6'6 junior. Second shot good by Sweat. 
Two minutes to go. That's Richmond on the side. Fawn comes out high to take it. And now they bat it away from him. A scramble for it on the side, and it'll be Dunbar's ball. Good hustle there by Dunbar. Again, Fawn needs to keep that ball up, but really good hustle there by Tyler McCord came out kind of on the other end of it a little hurting a little bit but really good defensive pressure yeah and giving it uh, the defensive effort there with two minutes to go in a 28 point ball game that's a that's a good effort and good hustle here's Hill now McCord sweat boy there are two players right there to meet him and now he is fouled now yeah, Richmond came up kind of lost his footing there Still not to the two free throws, so right now going to be a side out of bounds. Dunbar's keeping pretty much all their regulars in, except for, as you said, brought in Ricky Gadali. He's really the only sub that's in right now. Swab with it. Tries to find an opening, but it closed up pretty quickly. He is fouled. And I talked about the fact that's where he's his best, getting to the free throw line. Now Dunbar's going to come in with their five subs. Going to have a hockey line substitution here after the first free throw. Four team fouls on Bryan Station, but this is a shooting foul for Jaden Sweat. And it's in and out, and the score remains 76-48. Here comes the new platoon for Dunbar, and we see... Asher Horn out there, Landon Egner. 14 is Connor Norsworthy. 10, J.T. Martin. He had some action earlier. And Sweat will have the second free throw. That one is in and out as well. And they blew the whistle and... We'll yeah. get the other substitution. You're going to let Jacob Childs in. I like when the officials do that. There's no need not to let that kid. He could sit at the scorer's table the rest of the night if there's not another stoppage of play. So let him get in the game. That is Jacob Childs, 5'10", junior, in the ball game for Dunbar, moving his fawn along the baseline. Got the right-hand shot up and missed it, but then it's followed in by Hunter. Yeah, a lot of these players played against each other in the JV game. Childs double-teamed. Got it away. Here's Martin to Childs. Near steal. And now an opening for Norsworthy. His shot no good. The rebound. Martin battles for it and comes up with it. And the shot from outside, not there for Asher Horn and out of bounds. Asher just kind of looking up, smiling a little bit, but that's all right. Young, young, young player. He's going to grow. He's a freshman. I talked about it before. His aunt was one of the best basketball players I've seen play here, Whitney Horn Roberts. So he's got a good legacy going. 25 seconds left as Fawn works in the lane. Nice move and spins, uh -huh. but uh, he apparently made too nice a move. It was too good, effective a move, let's say, and he got uh, an offensive foul. Yeah, did a little hook there. Didn't need to. It had gotten by his man, but, boy, that's a good call by the official. I wish they would call that more because a lot of times you see that arm coming around. Right now I think Dunbar is just going to be kind of moving their offense, see where they can get, let these kids go in there. If they, if they want to shoot, give them, the, give them that opportunity. Horn to Martin. Four seconds. They're just about out of time in this one, and they're not going to get a shot away, and the game ends at 78-48. to 48. So Bryan Station led by 27 at halftime. They win it by 30 tonight over the Dunbar Bulldogs. The final score, Bryan Station 78 and Dunbar 48. We'll begin our postgame report in just a moment right after this break on Glycott. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire, 
I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. We first opened during the Great Depression. And we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher. By making a real difference in the communities we serve. And by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by CSL Plasma. Be rewarded for your generosity. Do the amazing. Help save lives. We are back at Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Keith Elkins along with Rick Reams, the Bryan Station defenders, wrapping up a 78-48 win over the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Bulldogs tonight. 21 victories on the year now for Bryan Station, 21 and 5. Dunbar drops to 11 and 16. And we'll tell you that last segment of tonight's ball game was brought to you by Meyer. Visit their Hamburg location at 2155 Paul Jones Way for any of your shopping needs. Meyer, a proud supporter of Central Kentucky High School Athletics on Glycod. Rick, we saw Bryan Station take charge of this thing in the second quarter tonight. Uh, if you watch this game, you might not think that Bryan Station might not know that Bryan Station was a team that had lost two in a row coming in and only scored 45 points in their last ball game. But tonight they got back to what they do best and really applied that pressure, and that led to the, the bigger lead, the transition game, and it all sort of snowballed. Yeah, both these teams came come in, came in off of two got two consecutive losses. But as you talked about tonight, Brian Station, we talked to Coach Ligon before the game. He talked about the fact his team was in a slump, but he thought they would come out and play hard. They did. They had a rough first quarter. They still were up by nine. Then they blew up the lead. Uh, again, this Dunbar team, we talked about the fact that we thought if they could get just win little segments, they did that in the third quarter. But again, this team, 30-point uh, victory for this Brian Station team. The interesting thing to see now is, is Brian Station back, or was this just a little bit of step towards that? Right, and it's, uh, of course, a late stage of the season. They had lost two in a row, and they came back with uh, what we might call a typical Bryan Station performance tonight in that it was driven by their pressure defense, and uh, then they, they continued to, to build on that. For Dunbar, they did uh, some of the things that they were they had hoped to do at the beginning of the ball game, allowed them to stay in it for a little while, but as we saw Bryan Station begin to pull away, the Bulldogs became a little shaky with their ball handling at that time, had some turnovers, which, of course, led to uh, more Bryan Station transition games game uh, going the other way so uh, but the Bryan Station is a tremendously talented team and they would give just about anybody on trouble on any any given night they've got a lot of great athletes and they've got uh, ball players who are going to give it the the effort that they have to give on that full court pressure to make that an effective weapon and as we mentioned a couple of times Champ Ligon has got that depth he uses his players it seems like very well and and uh, they are ready to go out there and compete for as hard as they can for as, as however long they're in there yeah and we talked about it just the number of bodies that Brian Station has, the number of athletes that they can bring in 
off the bench, and they did that a lot tonight with four and five guys substitutions. And then we talked about in the pregame the fact that Dunbar right now just doesn't have, quite have those athletes, but they're going to build towards that. And I like what you said. Dunbar, they gave a good effort, but, boy, they just played against a buzzsaw tonight that was, you know, when you come off two losses, you're hungry and you're mad. And tonight, unfortunately, Dunbar was the recipient of both of those. Uh, the defenders win it tonight by a score of 78 to 48. And uh, stay with us for more of our postgame report. And we'll be right back in just a moment on Glycott. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four year course debt free with health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life changing opportunity. The cost of school is free, all your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. I love Head Start. Children love Head Start, and you will too. Community Action Council's prep academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Teacher, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. College for your world. Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. This is your season to save on our incredible selection of new Kias from Cartown Kia. You can't beat the powerful design of the new 2024 Sportage. It's your choice. The new 2023 Kia Sportage, just $349 down and $349 per month, or the new 2023 Kia Sorento, just $349 down and $349 per month. Unmatched design, performance, and savings all in one at Cartown Kia and CartownKiaUSA.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by... Car Town Kia. Visit their showroom at 3120 Lexington Road in Nicholasville or browse their inventory at cartownkiausa.com. Car Town Kia, movement that inspires. And our postgame report continues from Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Brian Station, a winner tonight by a score of 78 to 48 over the home team, the Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Bulldogs, and uh, we don't have official stats in front of us tonight, uh, Rick, but the uh, Amari Owens came alive in his uh, scoring in the second half, although he did get off to a slow start. But a lot of balance in that uh, Bryan Station lineup. We show Tayshawn Adams with uh, with eight points and Davion Adams with uh, ten, and uh, they just had a number of players that they could go to, as they, as they usually do. Uh, they look at tonight's final numbers brought to you by Traditional Bank, who you bank with matters, and uh, this the, the balance on the Bryan Station team is always a factor, I would think, for, for them. Yeah, you just can't circle in one guy and say, we're going to stop him and then we'll get the victory because they'll go with someone else. You talk about it, Owens was off a little bit tonight, but they were still able to put, you know, the 78 points on the board. 78-48 was the final, and Brian Station, a big win tonight, bouncing back from two straight losses. And let's uh, talk about the outstanding individuals. Tonight's most outstanding players are presented by Elite Building Products in Nicholasville, locally owned with an outstanding selection of windows, doors, and siding. For more information, visit them at EliteKentucky.com. And what about those players of the game? Well, for Dunbar, we had a we talked about the fact that Chase Hill came out in the second half, had 10 straight points, really 
played a good game. There's a number of players that we could have given it to, but we just thought he had a really good second half. And then in that first, that second quarter run, Rashad Faulkner for Brian Station, he was just able to put some baskets in, got about 11 points during that stretch, really was able to get the ball in the basket, made a huge difference, took that lead from nine all the way up to that huge halftime lead that they had, and then just had a little bit of rough start of the third quarter where they took their starters out, but then they got the answer and blew it back out to that 30-point victory. Yeah, and uh, kind of a difficult call on the Bryan Station side, especially tonight, because uh, uh, they did have a number of contributors tonight, but that's usually the way they get it yeah. done. Exactly, and I think that's what Coach League would like. He would like to not have the same player every game get the player of the game because you have so many different options, and tonight that's what they did. Well, that will do it for us tonight. We invite you to uh, stay with Glycon for continuing coverage of high school sports, and in particular now as we get down to the end of this basketball season and the start of tournament play, a lot of games coming up on Glycod. Go to Glycod.com, and you can check out the schedule, and uh, also be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Glycod YouTube channel, and catch all the high school action. It's been a, a great year in Central Kentucky, I think, Rick, and uh, we can look forward to, to even more as we get down to the really big games. Yeah, I tell you what, it's getting to the time where it's the real deal, you know, one and done, and that's when it's fun in this season. So, Bryan Station a winner tonight. Again, the final score, it was Bryan Station 78 and Dunbar 48. For Chris Labar and Rick Reams, I'm Keith Elkins. Thanks very much for joining us. Good night from Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School on Glycon. From Glycod, this has been IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. IBEW 369, power up your potential. Tonight's game was brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Never underestimate you. CSL Plasma. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Meyer. Higher standards. Lower prices. Traditional Bank. Because who you bank with matters. And by Community Action of Lexington. Martin's Peterbilt. Lexington Outdoor and Power Equipment and Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen. Visit our website, glicod.com, Facebook and Twitter, at Glycod. We thank you for tuning into this live sports presentation from Glycod. <laughs>